This video is sponsored by Tupelo Designs LLC where U.S. shipping is always free and international shipping is discounted. For today's project I'll be making a card and I'm going to sew on it with my sewing machine. So I'm using this Lawn Fawn stamp set and it's called um, Sewing with Love and I'll just be using the sewing machine, the thread, and the pin cushion. And I'm using my stamping tool and that's Georgia Pacific cardstock and I'm just putting the elements that I want to use in my stamping tool and I'll be stamping those out with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'll be coloring the sewing machine with Spectrum Noir markers and that's BT2. And then I'll be taking a darker color and that's BT4 and I outline the sewing machine and the little elements on the sewing machine to give it kind of a, a shadowing effect. The next color I'll be using is EB1 and that's kind of like a creamy type color and I just want to use that to emphasize the white areas of the sewing machine. And then I'll be coloring the thread and I'll be using a purple color and that's HB1 to color the thread. And then HB2 to give it a little bit of the shadow I'll just hit the edges of the lighter purple on the thread. EB1 for the spool of the thread. EB2 to define the spool of the thread. CR11 for the pin cushion. And that is R59 and that is a Copic marker and I'm just going to outline the pin cushion with that darker Copic red color. LG3 for the top of that tomato pin cushion. LG5 to define the edges of that top of the tomato pin cushion around the lighter green. LY2 for the tips of the um, pins, the tops of the pins. This cardstock panel is 3 and 3 fourths by 5 inches and I'm going to do the smushing technique and that's just an acrylic block, stamping block and that's distress uh, ink and that shaded lilac and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to smear it or stamp it all over that acrylic block. And then I'm going to spritz the acrylic block with some water and that's just in a spray bottle. And then I'm going to take that acrylic block and I'm going to smush it onto that uh, cardstock panel. And that's why this is called the smushing technique. I'm going to do this about three times until I get a blob that I like. And I'm taking a darker purple distress ink and that's called Wilted Violet and I'm taking that same acrylic block and I'm smushing it on that acrylic block but I have a water brush and uh, I guess I'm out of frame there, sorry about that. But I'm taking that water brush and I am uh, swirling it around on that acrylic block that has the wilted violet on it. There you can see the, the acrylic block now. And I just swirl my brush on there, the aqua brush, the water brush. And then I'm going to flick paint on it uh, until I get it the way I want it. And that's the way I want it so I'm going to be done with that. I don't want to do too much to it. Now this was the hard part for me and it wasn't hard sewing but it was hard recording it. <laughs> so I have my sewing machine there 
and I am just uh, putting that cardstock with the paint smushes and drips and blotches on it and I'm going to put it in my sewing machine and I have purple thread in my sewing machine and I want to sew um, a stitched line and I start out sewing and I am uh, avid quilter so I I was sewing straight but then I decided wait I don't want it straight but it's just so normal for me to sew it straight that I started sewing it straight uh, but then I decide you know I didn't want it straight so now I'm I'm kind of curving the paper and I'm not pushing it you let the machine do the work you know the, those feed dogs suck that paper right through but I'm just taking my fingers and making the cardstock go willy-nilly and I'm getting the stitching that I want nice and crooked <laughs> And I'm coming to an end and normally you would back stitch but I didn't want to do that because I didn't want to poke too many holes through that paper so I'm going to leave some long threads and then I'll show you how I finish that off so you don't see the long threads but it's still secure and see how nice and crooked that is just the way I wanted it and now I'm going to sew a second row on the inside of that first row but I'm, I'm not stitching too close to the first row, but not too far away either. And there's kind of a close-up. And again, I'm just uh, letting the feed dogs do their work, and I'm guiding it with my fingers so it gets nice and uh, crooked. I don't want that stitching to be nice and straight. I want it to be nice and crooked. And I'm pivoting at the corners so I can get some nice corners so they're not too round. And now I'm just going to pull that thread uh, to the back of the card or, or panel, I should say, the panel. And I'm threading a needle with a needle threader because I have to use that now because I'm getting old <laughs> and I can't see the eye of the needle anymore. Uh, that's when you know you're getting old when you can't thread a needle without a needle threader. <laughs> and now I'm just going to uh, uh, poke those threads to the back and I'm going to do the same with those other uh, thread tails I'm, of the second row. I'm going to do the exact same thing. And once those threads are pulled through I'm just going to trim them shorter and then I'm just going to uh, attach them with some tape so they won't come undone. And from the stamp set, I picked the words, your soul, S-E-W, amazing. And I'm putting those on the card panel and I'm putting them crooked. Because remember, if you put them crooked, you don't have to worry about getting them straight. And I'm using that same ink pad, the um, Memento Tuxedo Black Ink. And I'm just going to stamp those out on the front of my um, card panel. And I don't want to forget about the exclamation mark, so I'm using a tiny stamp block and I'm just putting that exclamation mark after the word amazing. And now I'm taking those images that I cut out, that I colored and cut out, and I'm deciding where I want them. And once I decide where I want them, I am going to use art glitter glue to glue them down. And then I decide I want to use that solid heart from the stamp set. So I'm going to stamp that out in the middle of the sewing machine dial. And I'm just using that same dark purple distress ink, uh, wilted violet. And I'm just going to stamp that heart right in the middle of that dial. And then I'm using a Spectrum North sparkle pen, the clear sparkle pen, and I'm just going to uh, put that on the dials of the sewing machine. 
and on the thread of the sewing machine. And for the uh, tips of the pins, I'm just using some yellow glitter gel pen. And I decided the card needed one more little finishing touch. So I'm going to take some thread and I'm basically going to sew just one giant line from the spool of thread to the needle of the sewing machine. And then I just did the same thing. I just taped the loose ends so they wouldn't come undone. And I'm glad I did that. It looks really cute. Just sometimes those little added touches just give a card a little something something, you know? And now I'm going to take that card front and I'm going to put it on that purple and that's four by five and a quarter. And I'm just going to use some double stick tape to do that. And then I'm going to take those layers and I'm going to put them on a uh, five and a half by four and a quarter. A darker piece of purple cardstock, and again, I'm using the double stick tape. And my card front is all finished, and I will put that on a standard A2 size card base. I just didn't do it in this video, but that's what will be done. And remember, uh, all the items that I've used will be listed down below. And be sure to sign up for Tupelo Designs LLC's reward program. It's a great reward program. And be sure to check out those daily deals. Thanks for watching. Bye.